Three weeks as a free man after 32 years behind bars for a murder he did not commit. Freddy Gonzalez is part of the largest mass exoneration in U.S. history for people convicted of murder. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman sits down with Gonzalez on life outside of prison. How does it feel being back here? Yeah, nervous. You know, go back, you know, when we got picked up around right here. Freddie Gonzalez, now 64, for the first time returns to the exact intersection near Humboldt Park, where he was first arrested in 1990. When they took me to Grand Avenue at Central Park, they were calling for uh, Guevara, and I already knew I was going to be in trouble. He's talking about former detective Ronaldo Guevara, accused of bald-faced lies that put innocent people behind bars, now connected to at least two dozen wrongful conviction cases. Freddie was picked up down the street from where he was living by two officers. He says he was beaten and arrested. It wouldn't be until 32 years later that he saw freedom for the first time. This moment, decades in the making. Freddie walks out of prison earlier this month and hugs his daughter, Maria Gonzalez, outside Stateville Correctional Center. Is that my girls? He says his family never stopped fighting, but life outside of prison walls comes with challenges. He still has a lot of anxiety and doesn't feel comfortable in a lot of area, doesn't feel safe, doesn't trust people and we just need to have patience with them. His daughter was four when he was arrested. That's my muñeca. You're, what, what, is, what do you call her? Little muñeca. I wasn't there seeing my, you know, my kid grow up. And Gonzalez still thinks about the years he lost, all because of one man who's never been charged with a crime and is still collecting a police pension. He took 32 years from me and my family. What's going to happen with him? In Humboldt Park, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.